up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mark Casto YouTube channel. And today we're going to be jumping into some business training. This is something that's been on my heart um, as we've started Wise Builders Business Community. There's so many people that are asking, like, Mark, what exactly are you doing? And so I talked to them about business strategy. I talked to them about how to create digital products through monetizing people's knowledge, their skill sets, their passion, their wisdom. Teach them how to monetize that and sell digital products to serve people in their niche. And guys, we are stepping into a creator economy where if you will say yes to this simple business strategy and you will put in the deep work that it takes to make it happen, within 90 days of you just putting in one to two hours of deep work a day, at least five days a week over the next 90 day period, you can have a legit online business and start monetizing your knowledge, your passion your wisdom. Now, I want to say this. There's a lot of people that are doing digital reseller courses and products. That's not what I'm doing. I've not created some kind of white label product that I'm selling to people in Wise Builders Business Community. No, I'm teaching you um, how to legitimately build digital products around your brain, around your mind, around your knowledge, your passion, your experience, and you're going and we help you pick your niche and serve that niche with your wisdom, your knowledge, your passion. And so that's what we're doing today. And I just want to show you a simple business strategy to just show you guys it's not difficult to have a legitimate online business in 2024. All right, so I've created slides for you today, and I'm just going to show you a simple online business strategy that we actually teach in Wise Builders Business Community. So I'm going to give you an overview up front and then we're going to talk in specific detail about uh, numbers four, five, six, and seven today. So I'm jumping into this video assuming you've already done some brainstorming idea generation, you've picked your niche, and you've done your market research, and now you're ready to launch a legitimate online business. Now, if you haven't done your brainstorming and idea generation, you don't really know how to pick your niche, and you've not done market research, and you're like, Mark, I don't really have a clue how to even begin. Well, good news for you. We help you do all of this in Wise Builders Business Community. I started this business community to show people you can have a legit online business that can literally give you the ability to leave your nine to five job behind and you to start really creating wealth. So we're going to talk about this. Let's do the overview really quick. First thing first, in order for you to have a legitimate online business, you're going to have to start doing a little bit of brain work here. Brainstorming, idea generation. Think about your skill sets. Think about your knowledge. Think about your wisdom and experiences in life. I want you to think about um, the things that you're not only knowledgeable about and have wisdom about, but you have a passion for it, okay? And then you're going to take all of that and move from number one to, um, which is you taking all of that and doing some brainstorming and some idea generation, which is basically like, what kind of products could I create? Like, what kind of digital courses could I launch? What kind of ebooks could I write? What kind of uh, community could I launch based upon my knowledge, wisdom, passion, and skills? Okay. And then you're going to take that into number two, which is picking your niche. You've got to uh, nail down what specific thing I'm going to talk about, what specific thing am I going to be known for. What specific thing am I going to help people to do? And the more you get specific about your niche, the more you're going to have sales. The broader your niche, you're going to be broke. So number two is really about nailing down a specific and unique niche for you to serve. And then once you have one and two done, you step into the market research aspect, and that's where you start reaching out to your friends um, your online audience, people that you're already Facebook friends with or people who already follow you on Instagram and start talking to them about what you're going to do and start asking questions and you start listening. And again, you want to go deeper in one, two, and three. They're the most vital parts of your business and you need somebody to show you how. Join Wise Builders Business Community. Okay, now let's start at number four. This is a big one, guys, and I'm going to start going through these very quickly, but four is creating one piece of long-form content. Number five is you're going to pick one social media platform to show up on. Six, you're going to build your email list out of, that, out of those four and five. Um, you're going to push building your list through your long-form content. 
And also, you're going to push building your list through your social media platform. And then number seven, you're going to launch a product. And we're going to go through each of these very specifically, okay? Here we go. One piece of long-form content. What do I mean by that, okay? Well, maybe you're a writer. Then you need to be thinking email newsletter weekly. You need to be thinking about a blog. Maybe you're a talker, somebody that can be on do audio or video. Then you need to be thinking about podcast or YouTube, okay? Why is this important? I'm going to show you a simple way to start making impact right now um, by bringing value to people who would be listening to you. And I'm going to show you how simple this is, guys. And in the next few moments, you're going to be able to take your wisdom, knowledge, and passion and go, man, I can put together this simple online business strategy. I can put these things into practice. And I promise you guys, if you will put this into practice over the next 90 days, You will have a legit online business and you'll start making money through your business. So pay attention here, okay? All you need to do is think about how can I create one piece of long form content weekly? So if you're a writer, an email newsletter, that means you're going to sit down and you're going to speak from your wisdom, your knowledge, your passion, and you're going to create a piece of content that's aimed at the niche that you have chosen to serve, okay? So let me use an example here that if you are, say, your niche is I want to show people how to grow um, or how to take care of their lawn, like self-care, lawn care, okay? And that's what you're passionate about. Well, every week, if you're a writer, I want you to write a piece of long-form content in the form of an email, newsletter, or a blog, and every week you're going to bring incredible value to those people that are in your niche. So we're using the example of lawn care, like doing it, do it yourself lawn care. So one week you may write a whole newsletter or a blog post on how to pick the right mower for your yard. And the next week you might um, introduce like what's the best fertilizer to use in, to, in your yard or what kind of grass should I sow into my yard because I live in this part of the country. Think about this. Every week, you're going to be speaking one piece of long-form content, whether it's an email, newsletter, a blog, or podcast, or a YouTube video. But your aim is, I'm going to serve people that are interested in this niche, and I'm going to use my wisdom, my passion, my knowledge, and I'm going to serve these people with what I'm passionate about. And I'm going to show up for them every single week in the form of long-form content. So, Pick pick your niche. Once you've done all your market research, you've picked your niche, you've done all those things, one piece of long-form content. You say, well, Mark, I'm not really a writer. Well, here's the cool part. Then do a podcast. Grab a microphone. Grab your phone. You can literally record a podcast or a YouTube video off of your phone. That's all you need. Um, Guys, show up. Start talking about what you're passionate about. Give value to people. Show them what to do. Teach them something they didn't know. Teach them how to save time. Teach them how to save money. Teach them how to do, t- t- solve their problems for them in that particular niche, and people will start showing up to listen to you talk. They know that every time you put out an email newsletter, every time you put out a blog, every time you put out a podcast or you do a YouTube video, they're going to know to show up because you're going to give them some amazing value in the knowledge that you give them in that one piece of long-form content. Now, I'm going to show you a hack here. Second piece is you're going to pick your social platform. So what I recommend to people is quit trying to serve all of them at first and just just pick one social media platform that you can really invest your time into. Find out how that social platform works. Find out where your audience is, and that's where you're going to show up for these people every single week. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're in lawn care, you're probably not going to find a lot of people um, on TikTok or Instagram, I'm not saying you you can't, but I'm saying like if you're in a niche that's that is um, appealing to an older audience, like people who own their house and actually take care of the yard, you're going to probably have a little bit of an older audience, which would be your Facebook world. Um, if you're in the author uh, world, if you're like a writer, you definitely want to be on Twitter. Um, if you're into more visuals and photography and video, you want to be on Instagram and TikTok. So think about like, okay, what am I good at? Am I good at writing? Am I good at audio visual stuff? Do, am I good with showing up on the camera and pr- bringing value? Instagram and TikTok's great for video. 
Twitter does video, Facebook does video, but it more appeals to writers sometimes, Twitter especially. Um, I know that every time that I write something on Facebook, just pure writing, I get three times the reach as any video I've ever put up there. And so anyways, just do your research, pick a good social platform that you can serve on, find out where your audience is hanging out because they are they, there are people out there that are just Facebook people. There are people out there that are just Twitter people or X people. There are people that are Instagram people, and that's the only place that they're at. And there's people that are TikTok people. But you got to pick your social platform. So do your market research and find out where they live. Find out where they're hanging out online because that's where you got to show up so that you can start speaking up and giving them value, showing them that you know what you're talking about. Okay? So go back. One piece of long-form content. Then what you're going to do with that long form piece of content is you're going to pick a social media platform, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. You're going to pick one of these social platforms and you're going to take little clips, little nuggets. If you're a writer, let me show you how it works for a writer. Um, Your long form piece of content is your email newsletter or your blog. What you're going to do is you're going to take little excerpts out of that long form piece of content and you're going to start posting that on Facebook, just quotes on Facebook. And then in the description, or I'm sorry, in the comments below, you can leave a link that sends them back to the article that that quote comes from. And you're driving traffic back to your long form piece of content. So you've got a long form piece of content, and now you're going to show up on a social media platform. You're going to get really good at breaking up that long form piece of content, whether it's video, audio, or text. And you're going to break it up into smaller parts and you're going to spread that out during the week. And so your long form piece of content is actually now creating all of your short form content that you can place on your social media platform. It's that easy. And we go into greater detail about that in Wise Builders Business Community. Okay, so now you're making your one piece of long form content as an email newsletter, blog, podcast, or YouTube. You're now picking your social platform to show up on and serve your niche and bring that value into and you're breaking up that long form content and you're putting it out on these social media threads and pushing people back to your long form content to grow your audience. Okay. Now the next step is we want to build your email list. So you need to pick a company, an email company that will do this for you. I'm not talking about sending out a hundred different emails from Gmail or from your Hotmail account. No, there's companies out there that will help you build an actual email list. So there's companies out there like Kajabi. That's the that's the um, company that I use for all of my email marketing, uh, for the courses that I create, any kind of thing that I've monetized as a digital product, I do it through Kajabi. And I've got a link um, that can give you an actual 30-day uh, free trial if you'll just click the link in the description of this video below. But there's other companies out there called MailChimp or ConvertKit. These are great uh, tools that you can use We go into greater detail about that in Wise Builders Business Community, but you can do your own research. Go pick an email company where you can build your email list from. And then, guys, what you're going to do is you're going to give them something free for signing up. So basically, one of the ways you're going to entice people to come uh, give you their email so that you can build your email list is you're going to create something free for them. It could be something as simple as, hey, here's my summer reading list for this year. And you create a nice looking PDF and uh, you create it for them. You put it in Kajabi or ConvertKit or MailChimp. As soon as they sign up for your email, you send them that freebie. They get uh, your summer reading list. You get their email. And guys, that's an amazing thing because guess what? People that follow you on social media, you do not own that audience. If Facebook shuts down tomorrow, and you may be watching this and you have 60,000 people on your on, on your Facebook and 60,000 people that follow you. Guess what? If they are not on your email list, if Facebook shuts down tomorrow, you've lost contact with 60,000 people and you can't get access back to them through Facebook again. If Instagram shuts down tomorrow, you do not own that audience. An email list is the only list or only audience that you actually have access to that's actually yours. On top of that, a return on investment with email far outweighs anything that social media can do. For every dollar spent on a social media ad on Facebook or or, uh, Instagram, for a good ad, you might see six to eight dollar return on investment. 
But for every dollar that you invest into your email list, listen to this. The new statistic is now you make $40 off of every dollar that you invest in your email list. That is a huge ROI for your business. Okay, so building your email list is, and you'll hear this if you join Wise Builders Business Community, it is the number one thing you need to be doing if you want to grow a legitimate and long-term business online. So pick an email company. Give them something free. Give people something free to get them to sign up. Give them a gift for being a part of your email list. My recommendation is, because you've done the market research, because you've picked a niche, you create a PDF or create a freebie that relates to your niche, and then you build credibility with those people. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to create a welcome email sequence for people who sign up. So as soon as people sign up, because you say, hey, if you sign up, I'll give you this freebie. Not only do they get a freebie, but then over the course of the next five to 10 days, you're going to be sending them a series of welcoming email sequences for the people who sign up. And you're going to introduce yourself. You're going to introduce to people what you do. You're going to tell them testimonies of how you've helped people. You're going to show them that you can give them legitimate value. You're going to show them that you understand their pain points and what they're going through, which then establishes you as an authority and somebody who can actually help them and they'll want to do business with you. And then the long path game to all of this is now that you have an email list and now that people are signing up because you've got an awesome free gift that you're giving to them for signing up, not only do they get that email sequence, but you're going to start sending out a weekly email giving them great value. Or you say, well, Mark, I'm not really a writer. Well, then every week you're going to be sending them an email with your latest podcast or your latest YouTube video Beautiful thing about that is, is now you can transcribe videos through AI. You can tell AI, hey, will you turn this and convert this into an email newsletter? And it'll take the content that you did in that YouTube video and and through ChatGPT or otter.ai, you can get this whole thing transcribed. And then also, uh, let let me share it with you this way. You can take your video your recording that you did, drop it into a program like otter.ai, O-T-T-E-R dot A-I. Drop that video in there. It'll transcribe the whole thing. Then you can take that whole transcription, go over to ChatGPT, and then tell ChatGPT, I want you to take this whole transcription and turn this into 10 emails that I can send out over the next 10 weeks. Boom, within two minutes, you've got 10 emails for the next 10 weeks to bring value to the people that you're trying to serve through your online business. So building your email list is crucial. Now, let me say this last thing. If you don't sell a product, you don't have a legitimate business. Okay. So what's the point of doing a long form piece of content, breaking that up into shorter, um, shorter things to put on social media and getting people to sign up for your email list. If you're not going to actually offer them a product. Now, What is the long form piece of content going to do? It shows people that you know what you're talking about. It establishes you as an authority in that particular niche, somebody they can listen to because they feel like you understand and because you actually can help them. You can actually be a a problem solver for them. Once you've established that through your long form piece of content, you're reinforcing that through your social media. Social media is allowing you to reach more people. Social media is allowing you to to get in front of other people you could not otherwise, okay? And social media is great for just reinforcing even to your audience your long-form content. But then through your short-form and long-form, you're going to be driving people to your email list. You're going to be telling them about your freebie that you have. You're going to be building that list through everything you do. You're going to be putting, go back to building your email list. Every time that you do a podcast, tell people about your email list. Every time you do a YouTube video, tell them about your email list. Every time that you put out um, a blog, tell them about your email list. But then here's what you're going to do to have a legitimate business. You're going to sell a product. You're going to sell a product. Now, you've already done all this. Let's go. Let's back all the way up. You've already done all of this. Okay, guys, you've picked your niche. You've done the market research. You're now creating a piece of long-form content every week. You're now showing up on social media every single week with all of this content. Now you're building your email list. The last thing you need to do is launch your product. So what is that? What could that be? It could be a book. It could be a course. It could be coaching. It could be a community. 
And guys, my recommendation, I want to bring this back up. My recommendation to you guys is you've got to monetize your audience. Now that you're showing up every week, bringing value, now that you're on social media, now that you're building your email list, guys, people, this is the way people think. If I can get amazing value from these people for absolutely free, when they create an actual product that has to be paid for because they brought me so much transformation on their free stuff, of course I'm going to buy their stuff because if I buy their stuff, there's going to be things in there that's going to bring even greater transformation to my life. And guys, that's the, the, the legitimate truth. If you're able to show up and provide transformation for people with your free stuff, when you start creating a course or you st start coaching or you start building a community, guys, you're going to be able to help them immensely. Yeah. So I want to just say to you, guys, if you'll do what I just showed you in the last 20 minutes of this video, guys, you can have a legitimate business. And if you'll show up and put in, listen to this, one, no more than two hours a day of deep work focused on one long form piece of content, breaking that down into smaller things for social media, pushing people to an email list, and you then start selling a product, if you can stay consistent with that for 90 days, guys, in 90 days, you will start making money online. Most people don't make money online because they don't show up and they don't faithfully put in the work. Guys, there was a research done years ago that asked Americans, how many of you would like to write a book? 80% of hundreds of thousands of people that they interviewed all wanted to write a book. Yet, less than 1% of people actually ever write a book. Why? Because most people are lazy. They don't want to do it. They think they don't have time to do it, and they won't put in the work. Guys, that's across the board. The reality is, I've shown you a simple online business strategy that if you'll do the market research, you'll pick your niche, you'll start showing up weekly, creating long-form content, showing up on social, showing up with a weekly email, building your email list, and then you eventually start selling a product somewhere between day zero and day 90, you will start making money online. So that's a simple framework for how you can start a legitimate online business right now. So my encouragement is for you to do it. And you say, Mark, well, that seems a little overwhelming to me. I want to learn how to do this in a legit way. I want to learn how to do this and have somebody like take me step by step through the process. Guess what, guys? I've already mentioned it before. I'm going to mention it one last time. That's why we created Wise Builders Business Community is so that you can have a legit online business it's where we teach you how to monetize your knowledge, your wisdom, your passion, your skills through digital products. And I promise you guys, if you'll put in the work, you're going to see fantastic results. So thank you for joining me for this new YouTube training on a simple, legit way that you can have an online business. I pray that you'll actually take what I've shared. You'll actually do the research. You'll actually do it. And more importantly, I'd love to see you within Wise Builders business community today. See you next time.